In this podcast episode, Mel Robbins interviews Dr. Ramani Dervasula, a renowned expert on narcissism and its impact on relationships. They delve into the distinctions between narcissism and an inflated ego, explore the challenges of co-parenting with narcissistic partners, and discuss effective strategies for setting boundaries. Additionally, Dr. Romani addresses the complexities of managing relationships with narcissistic adult children, the nature of love in narcissistic dynamics, and offers insights for those navigating life with narcissistic parents. When it comes to personality traits, distinguishing between narcissism and an inflated ego is crucial. Dr. Romani explains that narcissism encompasses a broader personality style characterized by traits such as variable empathy, entitlement, arrogance, grandiosity, and a need for admiration. While individuals with inflated egos may exhibit self-centered behavior, not all of them are narcissistic. The key difference lies in the impact on others. Narcissists often engage in harmful behaviors that affect those around them, whereas individuals with inflated egos may simply be annoying without causing significant harm. Co-parenting with a narcissistic partner presents unique challenges. Dr. Romani highlights the difficulties faced by the healthier parent who may struggle with the narcissistic partner's poor role modeling and rageful behavior. The dilemma often revolves around whether to remain in the relationship for the sake of the children or to leave. Family court systems can be particularly challenging as narcissistic individuals frequently exploit custody arrangements to maintain control. Dr. Romani advises parents to prepare thoroughly before making any decisions about divorce, including consulting with a divorce attorney to understand legal implications and securing mental health support for the children. Each situation is unique and careful evaluation is essential. Setting boundaries with narcissistic individuals can often feel futile, akin to hugging a porcupine. Dr. Romani explains that attempts to communicate boundaries directly to a narcissist often lead to further conflict rather than resolution. Instead, she suggests focusing on internal boundaries, understanding personal limits, and adjusting expectations accordingly. For instance, if someone knows that a narcissistic family member will behave poorly at a gathering, they should prepare for that behavior rather than trying to change it. This internal process allows individuals to recognize patterns and protect themselves without engaging in power struggles. Dr. Romani cautions against hastily labeling teenagers as narcissistic. Adolescence is a developmental phase characterized by self-centered behavior as teens navigate their identities. While some traits associated with narcissism may emerge during this time, it is essential to differentiate between typical adolescent behavior and true narcissistic traits. Parents should observe how their teens interact with peers and other adults. If a teenager can maintain healthy relationships outside the home, it may indicate that their behavior is part of normal development rather than a sign of narcissism. Dr. Romani encourages parents to foster their child's interests and maintain open lines of communication rather than getting caught up in power struggles over household responsibilities. When addressing the question of whether true love is possible for narcissists, Dr. Romani explains that narcissists often have a distorted understanding of love. They primarily view relationships through a lens of self-interest and manipulation, leading to transactional interactions where love is contingent upon fulfilling their needs. While narcissists may express affection, it is often superficial and self-serving. True love, characterized by mutual respect, empathy, and genuine connection is typically unattainable for narcissists due to their inability to empathize with others. Their relationships often cycle through idealization and devaluation, leaving partners feeling confused and hurt. Ultimately, while narcissists can form attachments, the nature of these attachments is fundamentally flawed. Dr. Romani emphasizes the importance of setting clear boundaries when managing relationships with narcissistic adult children. Parents must recognize that their adult children may use manipulation tactics, such as the silent treatment or emotional blackmail, especially when grandchildren are involved. Engaging in radical acceptance of the child's behavior is crucial, as change may not be forthcoming. Parents should focus on their true north, which refers to the moments or events that are most important to them, 
such as birthdays or graduations. This approach allows parents to navigate the complexities of their relationship with their narcissistic child while still maintaining a connection with their grandchildren. Prioritizing emotional well-being is essential, even if it means accepting limited access to grandchildren. Dr. Ramani clarifies the critical distinctions between narcissism and psychopathy. While both involve manipulative behaviors, they stem from different psychological profiles. Narcissists often exhibit a chaotic internal world filled with insecurity and a need for validation. In contrast, psychopaths are characterized by a lack of empathy, remorse, and a cold, calculating demeanor. Psychopaths can be charming and skilled at deception, making them particularly dangerous in relationships. A person with psychopathic traits may quickly ensnare a partner, presenting a false self that is appealing and convincing. Recognizing these traits is vital for understanding the potential risks involved in relationships with individuals exhibiting psychopathic behaviors. For individuals with narcissistic parents, Dr. Romani offers strategies for maintaining well-being. She encourages cultivating self-compassion, recognizing that caring for a narcissistic parent can be emotionally draining. Establishing boundaries and engaging in self-care practices that promote emotional health is crucial. Individuals should not expect gratitude or acknowledgement from their narcissistic parent, as this is often unrealistic. Instead, they should focus on their own values and the compassionate aspects of their character. Seeking therapy and support systems can help navigate the complexities of caregiving for a narcissistic parent. The goal is to maintain a sense of self and engage in meaningful pursuits outside of the caregiving role, allowing individuals to protect their emotional well-being while fulfilling their responsibilities.